Hi everyone, <laughs> welcome along. Another plumbing tutorial for you. Um, another video that was sent to me by one of my subscribers out there was their boiler and it was making one hell of a racket. Um, to that end, I'm going to show you the video now and exactly what it was. So, the only clue I had was that he told me he'd taken a couple of radiators off and drained the system. So, that noise there is air in the system. There's air probably in the boiler by the sound of it. Um, if you get air in the system, the boiler will shut down pretty rapid and can make some loud noises like so. So, I knew that one was air, but you can get the same kind of noise through lime scale and sludge blockage. Okay, then let's have a look at what these different boiler noises mean. What what are they? There's several different types that you can get. Sound quite frightening, uh, and they sound like the thing's going to blow up. Like our friend there that just showed me that video of his boiler clunk bang bang. But there's lots of different types. You can get whistling and all sorts. Generally, uh, unless you've had the system drained out for some reason or another, uh, and it is air in there, then it is something to do with lime scale blocking the system up. Lime scale attaches itself to the inside of the boiler, a bit like when you boil a kettle and it attaches to the sides of the boiler, eventually it drops down to the plate, starts making the boiler very inefficient, and it also starts to block up the little tiny holes in the boiler and starts to make these funny, strange noises. Um, the kettling is one of the main ones where it sounds like a kettle <laughs> going off. It takes a little while to get started and, and then it starts humming. This obviously is a clean out job, cleaner and descale job if you've got that one. So let's have a look what other noises we can get. The old gurgling is another one that usually does mean air. Uh, it's definitely stuck in the system if you get that kind of noise like a whoosh. The rush is generally air in the system. Again, that may be all sorts of reasons. You may have done some plumbing work on the system, in which case there's air stuck somewhere. Uh, what other noises do we get? Well, the old knocking pipes is one, isn't it? <laughs> Where you put the heating on after a little while, you hear a bang, 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 and it kind of sounds like it's coming from all over the house, but Generally that's cause expansion in the pipes, the flow and return pipes, to the rads or to the tank. Uh, they may have been laid, the pipes, under floorboards and probably they're touching the top of the boards. And as the pipe expands, uh, they're, they're, they're banging. They're probably not lagged, uh, say the notches are not clean enough for the pipes. It's a bit of a, <coughs> unfortunately, <coughs> a bit of a, a nasty one to fix that one. Um, as I say, because these days, all pipes are lagged up before we put them in, stop all that kind of thing happening. But it is one that, unfortunately, in the older houses, is still going on. <laughs> so what else we got? We've got the old tapping noises in central eating radiators. Have you heard that one? Well, the radiator sounds like going tick, 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 you know, as it heats up. Again, that one is generally a sludge build-up in the radiator. Uh, and again, the only way to do that is to either take the radiator off, I've got videos on how to do that, clean them out, flush them outside, um, or you can try simply putting cleaner in the whole system for a couple of days and then add in the old inhibitor after that. But again, uh, it's a sure sign that your system's getting a little bit in a bad way. So it's time for you to do something about it. So uh, what else have we got? Yeah, the last thing I can think of is the old humming and vibrating you get sometimes when you put your heating on or your hot water on and there's a constant noise doesn't quite go away uh, this could well be the pump going uh, heating elements uh, could be going uh, they generally start to make a noise worth a look at um, does mean you've got a sign of trouble with a different kind of problem um, this humming and vibrating uh, again you'll probably need someone in to look at it unless you can look at it yourself a lot of times it is a central heating pump uh, worth a look at and do check there's no air stuck in the pump as well there's a little screw at the top that you can undo and let any air out I've got a video on how to do that if you want it uh, it's pretty easy simple to check 
Um, so to sum up, that's about all it there is really with boiler and house noises uh, to do with the plumbing and heating system. Um, other things are not to do with the heating system, which you get mains uh, noises, obviously, which is when you get a vibrating tap washer, or you can get uh, you know a roof tank ball cock that vibrates and makes a hell of a noise that goes right through the house, doesn't it? Um, so that's that's something else. That's a different kind of nature, but. Primarily on this video, we're just looking at boiler noises. So that's all I can think of off the top of my head. If I think of any more, I'll come back with you. You've probably got some. <laughs> Put them down if you haven't. I'll include them on the list. Okay, that's about it then. Just a little short one.